What's up guys? It's Mama Deadhead and I am back with another reaction to The Walking Dead World Beyond. I'm laughing because this is just such an odd setup I'm not used to, but I did just react to episode 9, so I figured I would just keep the same setup and just talk to you guys really quick for an intro to, you know, the, the true finale episode 10. It's a double feature, but this this video is the reaction solely to episode 10. So this is called In This Life and the synopsis is a divided group struggles to reunite, others set their sights on the greater good. So this, this could go just about any way. We know from the little teaser that I did watch that Silas is going to at least be in this one because he was not in nine. So this picture is Percy and Elton and in that teaser Silas and Elton did meet back up. So at least those three are going to meet. Then we have Felix and Iris and then Hope and Huck. So the group Divided group struggles to reunite. Others set their sights on the greater good. That's tough. Um, like, I'm, I'm trying to think of, like, there's, like, 50 different things going on in my head, like, struggle to reunite could mean that none of them reunite. And to be honest, I don't really see... I guess I could see Hope killing Huck and then trying to reunite with everyone, but then I could also see how Hope might not want to do that because they could really be flying blind when it comes to CRM then. So I don't know. And then I don't know how far apart everyone is and if Elton now is even going to use the walkie because Huck has one. So there's a lot of ways this could go. I I do hope that Felix and Iris know for sure. And I'm very curious to hear Percy's side of everything. I guess that's going to be it for this intro. And I'm going to talk to you guys after about just I guess all of season one and if you guys want to see more content or you guys want me to do like a Q&A for World Beyond or a Q&A for Fear, Q&A for the six episodes of The Walking Dead, let me know and I will figure out something to do in the meantime and I will also be coming out with at the very least Clone Wars reactions so we'll talk about that later so Let's go ahead and get this reaction started, guys. <laughs> babies! I love babies. Girl. Not in your... <laughs> Step off, Leo. I don't hey, like you. Uh, protect <gasps> Is she really gonna do it? Thank you. Oh, okay. So it's, it, it's going down now. Ooh, I just gotta chill. Holy shit. Oh, and the title card is just like, bam, bitch, we don't need anything else. Shit's already crazy. Oh, why do you have to show me dead All the time, why do you have to show me dead animals? Show me dead people instead. Yay! That's the sweetest thing. Oh, I followed smoke hoping it was... All right, now let's learn the truth. Mm. She wasn't acting like herself yesterday. Nope. She was... Look in that room upstairs. Yeah, girl! I've been saying that. Come on. Let's go see. I'm the same person I've always been. You just put that weapon away. Just a little explain. bit more badass, though. <laughs> yeah, uh, that gunshot you did. I feel like Sasha right now. This is what we're worrying about? Mm -hmm. What makes you so special, lady? Going back to Portland? Yeah. He didn't go back to Portland. They killed him, and he's in her little test thing. Word. Mm -hmm. So 
He doesn't okay. see him in danger. Mr. Yorn. No. Absolutely not. But no more lies, okay? Yeah, no, no more, more lies. No more lies. Let, let's, let's talk about some lies, honey. They were. Worry about him lying about some damn beans. Go, let me get my pole. I know what's in this room. I wonder if it's actually. It's gonna make her look more crazy, isn't it? I'm sure that this is the room without a I'm sure. Holy shit. Wow, there's a lot of supplies. Did Hope leave that message behind? I do it. Yay! No. Our baby is cleared. No, you didn't. Your dad's not in danger. Never was. Fucking His last two it. messages he sent. Ooh. Everything. Uh -oh. Tony and Percy. Yep. Is that you? Is that how you... Oh, shit, man. What kids do? That's so cute. No, it's not. She's I gotta pause right here, because, like, this just goes to show that you should always value yourself because you really don't know how others perceive you like here here she was thinking that the whole time leo wished that he had another iris when he thought she was literally extraordinary and like a prodigy at the stuff that she was doing at such a young age i just <sighs> oh that's so cute uh, what do you think Tommy? Oh. Well, you know, it's better than no truck. <laughs> yeah, so don't be like, fuck off. Don't. Does she know they killed 9,000 people? Sorry, it was just. We just thought it'd be easier. You could cut the cinchin oh. with a knife. Yeah. Maybe better. You're gonna tell me what the hell you're doing with hope. Damn right. She's on her way here. Yeah, she's not Don't talking to anybody. Anything. Just take a moment to process. Um, not feeling it. What's on your mind? Yes, tell us. Oh my fucking god! Ah! Oh, you just had to up it with a fucking fire, didn't you? Fuck it up! shoot her anyway <laughs> just because just because fuck you that's why admit good i hope hope gets to kill her yay mommy dearest is here oh, i was so far to like fuck you i was gonna make sure they get back to the campus colony i didn't want to have to step in but that instead of so she really didn't know i was wondering if she Tell didn't it. know oh God. Damn right. Because I'm not the real asset. We are. The two of us together. I love that. I think they need me to save the world, but you. 
I'm gonna and we're gonna save the world from them. <sighs> because we can. It's here. So. Fucking A. Okay, come on. Elton and Percy. I does not Elton and Percy. Fuck. Just what I thought. Maybe there could be something happy. They gotta fuck it up. shot I feel like they shot like I feel like they have everything for season two but they probably haven't started post-production on it I don't know I feel like I heard somewhere that they did a lot of the filming for season two already but <sighs> there really is so much to unpack because like they tried to reunite <laughs> It says, a divided group struggles to reunite, and all they did was fracture even more. So, Hope went with Huck, and is going to reunite with her dad. I, I don't see that changing. I don't see that changing. I feel like the only way that might change is Leo. Leo suddenly wised up and realized that there's some lies going on and I feel like that better not need to be handled because obviously that doctor from Portland was handled uh, and Leo doesn't know about it. His girlfriend is holding a lot of secrets. Don't like her. Don't know her name. I don't want to know her name. Never gonna know her name. I'm probably gonna know her name. She's probably important but fuck her. Don't like her. Mad at her. And I'm mad at him. How dare, how dare you start a relationship with someone else. I feel like you're cheating on my family even though it's been 10 years and it's not even my family. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that whenever we discovered what was going on with Huck, I asked that question, does she know what happened to the campus colony? And obviously, she does not know what happened to the campus colony. Her mom said, I'm going to tie up all these loose ends. And I, I figured as much when it comes to Hope and Iris. But going back to the fractured group, Percy seems like he is here to stay, which I'm a fan of. He's a jerk, but I mean, in his situation, I understand it. Um, Silas is up in the air. That's the character with the biggest mystery we have right now. I mean, Silas could literally end up absolutely anywhere. I mean, we know that Hope is supposed to be going to the research facility with her father, but they have tons of outposts, do tons of things. I know that obviously the odds are decent for them coming back together because it's a limited series, but like, I have a feeling that might be even like a season two back half type thing. Because, I mean, just how? And where I'm sure they're obviously gonna make it work but like I just can't like puzzle piece this together in my mind right now now Elton finding Will and Felix and Iris highly possible definitely 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 possible Solely based on the fact that they're, they can't be that far from each other. Like, they're not that far from each other. And now, all they have is time. So, they're going to be looking. 
and I'm assuming that the vehicles that were going out were probably trying to round up everyone, so Silas maybe just made it easier for them. So they were probably on the hunt for them or Will's group. I imagine, more assuming on my part, um, that Will wise up on what the fuck was going on with CRM, and he was like, I'm not about this life. And he made a way out with other people that agree with him. Very smart. We saw what happened to the soldier that didn't agree with Elizabeth, so. Ah, I don't wonder. This left so many questions and so many things up in the air, but it was a phenomenal finale. I don't know. I don't know if I would put this over 9 because I really liked 9, but I really liked 10. The last, like, four episodes were amazing. Honestly, this series has been, like, so awesome so far to me. I don't know. I'm all about it. I'm happy. I'm happy Will's back. Happy we get to see Will and Felix in season two. Thank you, MC. I mean, we rarely get to see, um, like, settled, seemingly happy LGBTQ plus couples. So, very happy. Hope they stay together for the long haul and they don't kill anybody off. I mean, we, we get to see relationships that are LGBTQ. Q plus, but not for long. Like, I'm still so offended that Yumiko and Magna are broken up when, like, they're, like, one of my favorite couples in the comic. Insane. This was insane. In this life. In this life of insanity. Is what it should be called. Man, I really don't know what to think. Nobody died. Nobody died. I mean, I, I didn't feel like there was going to be a death. I, I talked about this with some of my friends that are fans of the show, too, and we all kind of agreed that, like, Huck, but, like, everybody else seems to be, like, I don't know how to phrase it. Like, Huck is there for a reason. She's there for a reason. She's a mole. She's a, obviously a phenomenal job. Like, she's awesome. And everyone else is just, like, finding themselves when she's past that. So, like, everything was, like, coming to a head of, like, who are you going to be? Who do you want to be? And, like, you know, this happens. Now, some people will be heroes, some people will be villains. I'm wondering if they really just meant Huck or if they meant somebody else is going to become a villain. Because that was a shocker. Um, one thing I didn't mention in my discussion with Elton is I saw Talking Dead and he had a little snippet because he wasn't actually on it, um, the actor that plays Elton. But he talked about the main issue with what Hope told him being his mother. And I wish that I hadn't seen that just like little snippet because I was just mind blown that I hadn't thought that way. I mean, this kid has lived by his mother's word. You know, like his whole philosophy on life is based on that book she wrote. Just to learn that. In that dark time, on that day, she killed a human. Elton said, Hope was little. I get it. My mom knew. Like, she's an adult. Like, you know, she made this whole thing. Like, this, this is how I live. I am just... I'm happy that it seems like he's on the right path, but I'm so heartbroken for Elton. I adore him so much. I'll, I'll, I will cry. I do genuinely like all of these characters. Like, they all have their flaws. Like, I think Elton still is pretty much empty chow. 
I think Percy is a douchebag. I think Iris, well, you know, being a bit more level-headed now, she was very, like, know-it-all. Hope is just like, fuck it all. I know it all, and I fuck it all. Um, Felix just wants to go, like, above and beyond and control everything. So, like, they all have their things, but it's all things that I feel are understandable. And plus, a lot of these characters are teenagers, and they have room to grow and room to change, and we as viewers can't just sit back and pretend like we were the most level-headed teenagers there were and would be great in an apocalypse. I would have been probably just like Hope. I still love Hope. I understand what she's doing. Still love Iris. Love everyone. I literally don't have any qualms with, like, anyone. I know that some people may not like that or be like, oh, you have to hate somebody or... It doesn't make any sense to just like everyone when they're so different. I mean, that's really why, because they are so different. And I don't see reason. It's not like, I'm gonna make some comparisons to me and to characters. You all know, I don't like Daryl Dixon from the main show. One of the main massive reasons is I feel like as a teenager, me and him were probably very similar, which probably aligns with Hope. Very angry, very angsty, mouthing off every time you get a chance, just like being as hot, hot headed as possible. But there comes a time when you have to say, that can't control you anymore and you have to let that go and you have to make hard decisions and you have to be bigger than your past and i saw my days don't get me wrong but you can't just be hot-headed for the sake of being hot-headed like you can't just i mean you can but you shouldn't just keep yourself in that cycle and that's where i see his character is some really bad things happened to him, same, here, and he never grew past it, and it doesn't seem like he ever wants to. Like, he just goes back into the same cycle, and back, and back, and back. And there are certain points that are solely up to him. His past influences, yes, but you need to be the change that you want to see. Like, you can't just expect the world to just, like, revolve around you and suddenly the world gets better so your life gets better. You have to take those steps to make those changes. And it's just personally not something that I have found in that character. And I can see Hope is cut different. And she has her whole life ahead of her. Not that, like, Daryl's 80. He still has plenty of life left. Um... I guess 80 is my cap on old. I guess that's what I think people are always when they're 80. Um, so, I mean, like, I just feel that there's so much room to grow because they are teenagers. It's hard to just, like, keep on, keep on, keep on with the same things um, and just complain, complain, complain when, like, that's what a teenager does. <laughs> So it's hard to be like, how dare you be a teenager and question everything because it's what you're supposed to do when you're a teenager. Um, that's when you're supposed to be like really finding who you are and, you know, so that's why I don't really fault them too much for being teenagers and acting like teenagers. Um, I mean, even Percy. Even Percy. And I mean, this spills over into... Um, I mean, a larger thing of, I don't like Charlie from Fear, and I don't like her because she shot Nick. Personally, for me, I don't feel like she should be with the group, and I don't feel like she should be with Alicia. That's just me. Do I think she's a bad person? Honestly, no. Do I think that shooting Nick was justified, considering what 
she just discovered with her own father figure? Probably. Even though she did bring this all on by tricking the stadium. She's a teenager. And she can grow from that. And she obviously genuinely feels bad. I don't think she should be with a group. If somebody killed all my family members. I don't care how old you are. Bye. Um, but even like that is more understandable than a character that like you know what your actions are going to like bring if you keep repeating them repeating and repeating so like even then like i'm not just so frustrated every single time charlie is on screen um i think i got frustrated in the mid-season finale but like the rest of six i wasn't whenever she was in the season finale like not a big deal to me <sighs> ah this was just Crazy. It's like, if I would have told Reaction Sarah, episode one, that this was going to end this way, I wouldn't have believed it. I don't, I, I didn't know what direction they were going to go in. And I think I said this a few times, I was like, you know, even when they make it to the research facility, how many thousands of people and like this military, like how are they going to get in? Makes sense. I mean, they closed a lot of doors and then they opened about double the amount. <laughs> so I think that season two is going to be insane. But I hope it's not too action-packed that it's like, we don't learn. I know that a lot of people are complaining that like it's not just crazy walker killing all the time in this show, but like I feel like the information is way more important. And as far as like CRM and like helicopter and all of that business goes, we have learned far more from this one season of this show than we have from... Honestly, if we were talking like bigger picture, wanting to know what it's like to be in the zombie apocalypse and like what the world world is like we have learned way more from this show than anything else like more than more than the video game more than the comic more than fear more than the main show, I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say, that, I guess to close out, this was really awesome, I've really enjoyed this season, the season has been great, I cannot wait for the next one, I think that this, I'm really sad that it's only minutes, like we're halfway through the series. It makes me so sad because the show is so good. Now, as far as what the future holds for my channel, um, I believe the main show comes back for the six episodes in February. So basically the whole month of December and January, and I feel like the majority of February, um, there will be no Walking Dead. To react to at least so do you guys want me to do Q&A videos would you like to see just a Q&A for everything or would you rather see like hey ask me questions about world beyond ask me questions about fear and do separate videos I could do that um, I'm going to be reacting at the very least to Clone Wars. I don't want to put too much on my plate because I don't know what the future is going to hold. And like every time I make plans, they seem to get dashed. So I'm just going to not make any anything crazy. Focus on Clone Wars. And really hop into Star Wars because I am watching Mandalorian. <laughs> so I've gotten some spoiler stuff, I guess. For Clone Wars, not really, just like people who live, I guess, but. Alright, I guess that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Thanks for, for all of you guys that have watched all of my World Beyond reactions. I hope you guys have enjoyed this season. Comment down below, what did you think of this 
finale and what did you think about this season as a whole? I loved it. 10 out of 10. I can't wait for season 2 to be a 15 out of 10. It's just set the bar extremely high. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and like I always say, think positive thoughts and some positive vibes. Bye guys. What's up everybody? Always think positive thoughts and send positive vibes. It's from Mama Dead here, y'all. And I always remember, I know what's happening and I know what's going on. And please, always nurture your inner spirit. Peace.